In this video, we will practice finding the values of sine and cosine at special angles. This is AP Precalculus Topic 3.3. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. Half the battle is making sure you have memorized these nine trig values. So if you have not yet memorized them, pause the video right now and study this chart. On your next test or quiz, you should ask your teacher for a piece of scratch paper and write this chart from memory. Then use the chart for the rest of the quiz if you need to. However, the goal is to know these values so well that you don't need to write down a chart. You can just do it all from memory. Pi radians is a semicircle. So if you take a semicircle and divide it evenly into three parts, each one of those sectors is one third of pi. In other words, each sector has a measure of pi over 3 radians. An angle that stops here has a measure of pi over 3 radians. An angle that stops here has a measure of 2 pi over 3 radians. And we need to find the sine of this angle. The angle of 2 pi over 3 radians has something called a reference angle, which is the angle between the terminal side and the nearer part of the x-axis. In this case, the reference angle is pi over 3. On the interval from 0 to 2 pi, there will always be four angles that have a reference angle of pi over 3. There's one in every quadrant. Because of symmetry, the sine of any angle will be plus or minus the sine of its reference angle. In this case, the sine of pi over 3 is radical 3 over 2. So the sine of 2 pi over 3 will either be positive or negative radical 3 over 2, depending on the quadrant. When the terminal side of an angle passes through a point on the unit circle, the sine of that angle will be the y coordinate and the cosine of that angle will be the x coordinate. Since 2 pi over 3 ends in the second quadrant, where y values are positive, the sine of 2 pi over 3 will be positive radical 3 over 2. Number 10, the cosine of 5 pi over 4. 5 pi over 4 is a multiple of pi over 4. We know that pi is right here. It's a semicircle. But for the sake of like denominators, let's think of it as 4 pi over 4. Therefore, 5 pi over 4 will be 4 pi over 4 plus an extra pi over 4. In other words, the reference angle is pi over 4. Since the reference angle is pi over 4, the cosine of 5 pi over 4 will be plus or minus the cosine of pi over 4. And the cosine of pi over 4 is radical 2 over 2, or 1 over radical 2. So the answer will either be positive or negative radical 2 over 2. It will be positive or negative depending on the quadrant. Remember that cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle. Since the terminal side is in the third quadrant where x values are negative, then cosine will be negative radical 2 over 2. To find the sine of 5 pi over 3, we first must locate the quadrant of the terminal side. So let's think of pi as 3 pi over 3. Doubling this, we get the value of 2 pi, which is equal to 6 pi over 3. So 5 pi over 3 will be 6 pi over 3 minus 1 pi over 3. So the reference angle is pi over 3, and the terminal side is in the fourth quadrant. Because the reference angle is pi over 3, the sine of 5 pi over 3 will either be plus or minus the sine of pi over 3, which is radical 3 over 2. The positive or negative depends on the quadrant. On the unit circle, sine is the y-coordinate, and y-coordinates are negative in the fourth quadrant. So the answer will be negative radical 3 over 2. Number 12. Let's find the terminal side of 4 pi over 3 by thinking of pi as 3 pi over 3. 
4 pi over 3 will be pi over 3 past 3 pi over 3. That places it in the third quadrant, and the reference angle is pi over 3. The cosine of 4 pi over 3 will be plus or minus the cosine of pi over 3. The cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. The positive or negative depends on the quadrant. Cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle, and in the third quadrant, x-coordinates are negative. So the answer will be negative 1 half. 2 pi is where you land if you go all the way around and back to where you started from. So 2 pi goes through this point right here. This is the unit circle, so the radius is 1, and the coordinates of this point will be 1, comma, 0. We don't need the chart for this. We just need to understand that the cosine on the unit circle is the x-coordinate, which is 1. So the cosine of 2 pi is 1. Let's find the quadrant where 11 pi over 6 ends by thinking of pi as 6 pi over 6 and by thinking of 2 pi as 12 pi over 6. Therefore, 11 pi over 6 will be 12 pi over 6 minus pi over 6. So 11 pi over 6 ends in the fourth quadrant with a reference angle of pi over 6. Therefore, the cosine of 11 pi over 6 will be plus or minus the cosine of pi over 6. And the cosine of pi over 6 is radical 3 over 2. So plus or minus radical 3 over 2. The plus or minus depends on the quadrant. Because cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle, and in the fourth quadrant, x-coordinates are positive. We are to the right of the y-axis. Therefore, the answer will be positive radical 3 over 2. Number 15, pi is right here. The coordinates of this point are negative 1, comma, 0. And on the unit circle, sine is the y-coordinate. So the sine of pi is 0. Every quadrant is pi over 2 radians. So this is 1 pi over 2, this is 2 pi over 2, and this terminal side represents 3 pi over 2. So the point on the unit circle has coordinates 0, comma, negative 1. And the cosine is the x-coordinate, so the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. Notice that whenever the terminal side of the angle lands right on the x-axis or the y-axis, we simply use coordinates instead of this chart. Let's find the quadrant of the terminal side of 3 pi over 4 by thinking of pi as 4 pi over 4. Therefore, 3 pi over 4 is pi over 4 less than 4 pi over 4. So 3 pi over 4 is in the second quadrant with a reference angle of pi over 4. So the sine of 3 pi over 4 will be plus or minus the sine of pi over 4 which is radical 2 over 2, or you can write 1 over radical 2. I want you to be comfortable with both versions, so this time I'm going to do 1 over radical 2. The positive or negative depends on the quadrant. Sine is the y-coordinate on the unit circle, and in the second quadrant, y-coordinates are positive. So the answer is positive 1 over radical 2. Let's find the quadrant of the terminal side of 7 pi over 6 by thinking of pi as 6 pi over 6. Therefore, 7 pi over 6 will be 1 pi over 6 past 6 pi over 6. So 7 pi over 6 is in the third quadrant with a reference angle of pi over 6. Therefore, the sine of 7 pi over 6 will be plus or minus the sine of pi over 6, which is 1 half. The positive or negative will depend on the quadrant. On the unit circle, sine is the y-coordinate, and in the third quadrant, y-coordinates are negative. So the answer is negative one-half. Pi over 3 is in the first quadrant, and the cosine of pi over 3 
is one of our memorized values. It is one half. The terminal side of pi over two lands right on the positive y-axis. So we won't use the chart. Instead, we will use the coordinates. The coordinates of this point are zero comma one. And on the unit circle, sine is the y value. So the sine of pi over two is one. To figure out the quadrant in which seven pi over three falls, let's think of pi as three pi over three. And let's think of two pi as six pi over three. Hmm. That means seven pi over three will be six pi over three plus an extra pi over three. In other words, we need to go all the way around to six pi over three and then pi over three more. Since the reference angle is pi over three, the sine of seven pi over three will be plus or minus the sine of pi over three, which is radical three over two. The plus or minus depends on the quadrant. In the first quadrant, y values are positive. So the sign will be positive radical three over two. To find the quadrant in which five pi over six falls, let's think of pi as six pi over six. Therefore, five pi over six will be pi over six less than six pi over six. Since the reference angle is pi over six, the cosine of five pi over six will be plus or minus the cosine of pi over six, which is radical three over two. On the unit circle, cosine is the x coordinate, and in the second quadrant, x coordinates are negative. So the answer is negative radical three over two. The sine of pi over six is one of our memorized values. It is one half. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.